welcome to the Slightly Nocturnal Show. I'm Doc. Today's date is January 27, 2019. I'm joined with Indy Timby today. He's going to be on the show. We're going to do a little Q&A. Welcome to the show, Indy. How's it going, man? Pretty good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man, anytime. Glad to have you on the show. I enjoyed watching your YouTube channel. And uh, actually, you, you, what, you messaged me on Twitter about coming on the show, didn't you? Is that how that came about? Yeah, um, I, you, I, I saw that you followed me, and then I um, just checked out your stuff, and then I saw that you had a podcast, and I listened to a few episodes, and I really liked it. Yeah, and mostly we do we do a mixture of like political and sports and gaming, um, but yeah, I'm always interested to talk to. I think I found you from a Timmy Carvine. Do you watch him? Is that how I found you? I think that's how I... Do you know who that is? Timmy Carmine? Timmy Carbine. He's like an ARC player. He plays ARC. Um, I don't th- I don't play ARC, so... I don't know. I don't remember how I found you. It doesn't matter. But you're on the show now. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not... Some people just seem to kind of randomly find me from things. Tell us about... you. So, first of all, just tell us about yourself. Like, what you do, what your interests are. Um... Pretty much, I'm just kind of an, your basic nerd gamer kind of person. <laughs> um, I have a YouTube, and I also stream, and I am a big horror fanatic. Oh, nice, nice. So do you, like, play the same in, like, that genre in games as well? Is that your favorite? I know yeah, you've been like, playing right Resident now I'm Evil playing, late, lately. Play what? You've I'm been sorry. playing the new Resident Evil? I have. I have. I'm about two and a half hours or three hours into it now and i'm loving everything about it really because i've heard yes, different views amazing. about it i've heard bad oh, and yeah. good so you have nothing but good to say about it then kind of i mean there's i feel like they could have like put a little bit more ammo in places but i feel like i'm also not looking enough because mm. i mean i don't know that's a good and bad thing because i'm very low on ammo so it's been feeling very stressful and the zombies kind of feel unstoppable at times. I got so, you. Low ammo can be good and bad. Cool. But I, I've loved it. So back to you. How like how long have you been gaming? Like all your life, or is this like something new that you found later in life? I'm sorry, you kind of cut out. Discord's oh. being weird. No, no, no. So I was asking how long you've been playing. Like how long have you been gaming? Is it like a new thing, or is it been all your life doing it? Oh, YouTube? No, just gaming in general. I'm sorry, Discord has been real bad. Oh shit, really? That sucks. Yeah, like you, it's cutting out a lot. Is um, that better? Hang on. Yeah, I Discord sometimes does this with me. You still there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, I wasn't sure if it completely cut out. Okay, it says the connection's better now, so. Okay. So, so what was that? Qu- oh, Sorry the qu- so that. the question is, uh, like, how long have you been gaming? You've been a lifer? Or is oh, it- how long have I been gaming? Okay. Sorry about that. No, no, you're good. Um, I got into, actually, video games since at, at uh, two years old. Two years old. So that's yeah, like, a, um, you've, been, you've been a lifer at it then. Yeah, like, uh, my first game ever was Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, it's an awesome game. God, yeah. It is. Um, and actually, it was at a point where, like, obviously I had no idea what I was doing, and it was to the point where I wanted to play with my brother, but he was playing with a, a single-player game, so my mom would just, like, put the controller socket under the console, and then I would think I'm playing. I think everybody did that to like younger siblings because <laughs> it was done to me and then it was I did it to my younger siblings when it came time for them so yeah it seems like oh, a uh, like a, a common practice and I actually I do it now to my kids when I'm playing I just hand them a controller and they think they're doing everything that's going on oh, on the screen so that's funny and actually I got into some horror games really early into my life too um, I got into Resident Evil 2, the original, when I was, like, five. Did it scare you as a kid, or is it, was it, like, more interesting? Um, 
it didn't really scare me until Mr. X came in on the sec <laughs> on the B playthrough. Yes, yeah. That's what. That's where I would always stop playing when I was younger. I hated doing the second playthrough because of him. But I would always play it through the first playthrough. And then, of course, when I got older, I finally managed to beat it. Right. Because... No, no Mr. X is going to scare me. <laughs> so, you have a YouTube channel and you stream. Do you stream on Twitch and YouTube? Or are you primarily... Are you just a Twitch guy? Um, I was streaming on Twitch and YouTube for a while but I, I used I was using restream but while I was streaming I don't know what happened OBS said I was still streaming but the restream website just dropped me mm. and it it wouldn't go back up and so I'm a little bit paranoid about that now so I am mostly streaming where my core audience is now and that's YouTube YouTube because oh. my twitch audience is a little bit stagnant right now I used to, I used to use Restream.io as well, and I liked it, but I started having problems probably in the last like six months with it. So. Oh really? And no, I've, I I just have more of an audience on YouTube than Twitch. I like streaming on YouTube. I do. In fact, I prefer it over Twitch. But most of my audience is over on Twitch. So, oh yeah. And then, um, so how long have you been streaming? Uh, streaming, I've been for a little over a year now. Like, I, I tried getting into streaming, like, two years ago, I think. But my internet wasn't that great. And so every time my stream would stop, I would be, like, paranoid about that the entire rest of the stream. Right. No, it is. I can understand it. It's it's hard to stream when you don't have good internet. You're, like, because you're going to lose viewers. As soon as the stream buffers or anything, people click out of that shit. They're just gone. So. Yeah, exactly. But we recently upgraded our internet, and I can stream constantly for, at, you know, seven seven twenty p sixty frames a second. So that's good. That's good. And yeah, that seems to be the death of a lot of even. I, I've like watched people that have, have hardly any audience. They're great streamers, but they if their internet sucks at all, like that's the it's like the death of them. So. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, a lot of people are all about qual uh, quality of video and audio. Right, right. And that's that's why I have always been trying to upgrade my audio when I can. Yeah. Yeah, I, when people ask me about my all my stuff, I, I tell them, invest in a good mic and get yourself, you know, um, a good headset so you can and always, like, record yourself before you go on a stream every single time. Because something might have changed. Windows does stupid shit sometimes and just changes settings on its own. So. Oh. oh, yeah. Well, and, like, you know... There are still people who say, like, oh, you can do it with nothing, but I don't know. Nowadays, people are so spoiled with good quality that right. I don't know if that's the case anymore. I rec Like, at the most, get a Blue Yeti. If you get a Blue Yeti, you're good. Right. Like, uh, people, there are thousands of people who will settle for a streamer or a YouTuber with a Blue Yeti. Yep. But if you just have, like, a Turtle Beach head... And, that you know, that's the thing, though. Like, I'm going to give... Do you mind if I give a quick shout out to someone? Yeah, go right ahead, man. Yeah. Um, there's a friend of mine, Kane Yo Yo. He streams with a PlayStation Four headset, and he's getting a good audience. So, I guess it all depends on the person as well. It could be. It could be a combination of you know, if he has if he has a great personality and great you know, and he has good content, maybe people yeah. overlook the shit. You know, even if it's not top quality audio, so. Yeah. And I will I mean, say this about the, like, I have an Sorry. Xbox One, and um, I I have streamed just with the Xbox headset over the Xbox, and it's 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 pretty okay. Like, it's not horrible at all. Um, so I have to give props. I've never streamed on a PlayStation before. Um, but, okay. I, you know, maybe it's, maybe they have something, maybe their software built in is, you know, makes up for a lot of, you know, the audio quality. Maybe. I mean, the... I've seen people stream directly through the PlayStation, and it looks good. Like, I have a, a Twitch streamer friend who streams directly through PlayStation all the time, and it looks decent. Does it? Yeah, and it sounds decent. That's good. So I think PlayStation kind of raised their quality a little bit. Maybe well, they and, did. And, and plus, the friend that I mentioned who has a headset, he also streams Minecraft, so that could be another reason, too. <laughs> it could be a low-latency game, so... Yeah, I mean... I feel like with Minecraft, it's a meme at this point, yeah, 
but if people are looking to just watch a chill stream, I feel like Minecraft is like the perfect game. Yeah, I agree with that. I do. I've I've done it before. I've been sitting in airports or just waiting on stuff, and I'll and I'll jump on Twitch and yeah, just watch something that I don't have to like, you know, like invest a whole bunch of effort into. If that makes sense. Exactly, and you know, I love Minecraft because you know it's such a relaxing game and i feel like it's one of the most free games out there like not free as in money but like do anything you want right and i also do you like i don't want to keep going do you mind if i go on a bit of a rant here Yeah, go right ahead man do your thing okay so did you ever hear of a game called we happy few yes Yes. Okay, so I tr I was one of the people who got to try out the closed beta of it. That was after the open beta. Um, the they had a they have a hunger and thirst meter. I don't know if they still have that. I hated it so much. Like it made the game unplayable. Because I could barely do anything that I needed to because I was getting hungry and thirsty so much. Minecraft is like the only game that has done hunger right in my opinion like i'm not like a minecraft fanatic don't get me wrong like i'm not the kind of minecraft's the best game but it it got it right <laughs> i think uh i've played it before i think you're right there was a, so we were talking about arc before the show arc is that like dinosaur survival game and oh yeah my, my friend's super into arc yeah and i i have played i think i have like over six thousand hours into it now and i'm kind of like Jeez. at a point now where i'm done like that i've i've kind of like i've played on custom servers i've owned servers we've kind of done it all and i've devoted you know, obviously countless hours to it but in the, and i played yeah. arc when it first came out and it was it was like that with the hunger and thirst thing where it was you couldn't hardly get anything done because you were having to constantly go back and eat and drink something constantly yeah and now it's I way better. So, I feel like more games should do what Subnautica did and give you a choice of whether or not you can have hunger and thirst. So I have that game, but I've never played it. Is it any good? I like it with cheats. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I only played it with cheats so yeah. that I could actually explore. But, I mean, if you like, you know, crafting and, you know, the grinding of right. that kind of game. So it is a grindy game. Yeah. Yeah, it is a very great. It's one of those games where you know, you have to make this, but you have to go out and get like ten things before you can make this. Right. Okay, I got. And you. then you have to get like fifty things to make this suit, but to get some of those things, you have to get other things. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you like that, cool. But I've had enough of that in games. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. But I will say this, the world and the creatures they've made in that game are amazing. I've seen, I've watched people play it, and it looks awesome. Um, it was free, I think I got it from Epic a couple weeks ago for free, so. Really? Yeah. Okay, um, I bought it on, I bought it on Steam, but I got it on a sale for like two bucks. <laughs> yeah, Steam sales are awesome. It's just, the, ugh. That, that is, yeah. I cannot explain to people, like people, I have friends that play on console, and they just refuse to come to PC, because they're like, Oh, it costs so much money. I'm like bullshit. Like you're paying sixty bucks a pop a game. I'm play you know I can buy. I might be able to buy ten games for sixty dollars on Steam. Well, I mean, are they referring to the games that are expensive, or are they referring to the PC itself? They're referring to the game, like because I've explained to them okay. and they know now. Like uh, part of like the our, our studio here is we build custom PCs for people, and people will come to me and, I, and that's the first thing i ask them is like don't tell me what tell me what you want to play and then tell me what your budget is and i can meet you somewhere in the middle of there probably usually so well that's pretty cool i might have to do that with you sometime because i've been meaning to upgrade yeah we and we can get since we have a like we've been doing it a while we can get pretty good deals on stuff um but you can get build an awesome pc for less than you can buy an xbox one right now for on sale so oh nice like I'm still like I prefer consoles, but I do love I do like I acknowledge how powerful PCs can be, and I do love PC gaming. But I am a noob when it comes to PC hardware. Oh, okay. Like I know I know software kind of, like a good amount ish, but hardware it's like every time someone asks me, well, what uh, GPU do you have, and look it up, and it's like 
can you tell me how? <laughs> <laughs> so I am, I am, I don't know. I, I'm, I want to go to college for, you know, for PCs and stuff like that because I feel like it would benefit me a whole lot. Yeah, yeah, it could. Absolutely. But the, I'm, yeah, cause I, PC building, you have to look at it like the, as if you were going to build a Lego set. Like that's, and it's, it's really no harder than that at all. Um, a very expensive Lego set. <laughs> it can be. Like, um, we just built a PC for somebody about a week ago. They spent 200 bucks, and it'll run. They wanted to play Battlefield at 1080, and it'll run It'll run battle, the new Battlefield at 1080 for $200. You can't buy a console oh. brand new for that. So. No, that's true. I mean, like, the PC that I have, I already had the RAM and the GPU. And everything else cost me about seven hundred bucks. Okay. But I kind of still want to upgrade because there's some games that I can't play well. I mean, I can run MGS five pretty well. Right. If that says yep. anything. Yep. But I don't know the tower that I ended up getting. People were saying like that's a very small tower. So it's all about what you want. Like you can you can build a a, a bomb PC in a in a small form factor. You don't have to have a huge tower. Uh, they make okay. tower. They make you know what they call you know mini ATIs. Like that's like a, it's like probably two shoe boxes big. That's how big it is. So. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. I mean, like, I bought everything over Amazon, and right. then people have told me like, dude, go to, I can't remember the website Egg or whatever. Oh, Newegg, yeah, Newegg. Newegg, yeah. People have told me to go to Newegg. Yeah. The best place, and I'll just put this out there for anybody listening. Like the best place if you want to build a PC is go to PC Part Picker and it and you just pick a part and it will tell you it looks it up on the internet and tells you where the cheapest price is that day cuz PC yeah. parts fluctuate day to day like gasoline does I don't know why but it does like one day you maybe it'll buy ram for $50 a card slot and the next day it's 65 it just fluctuates well i remember graphic card their graphics cards for a while were getting super expensive. Yeah, and that was the bit. The and bit. I, I the think coin it, I think it's gotten a little better now. Oh, but, it's way better now. Yeah. But yeah, uh, a, a YouTuber I watched made a video about it, and they were getting ridiculous. Yeah, they were like th- so. In a matter of eight months, they went from they jumped three times in price. So. Wow. And now they've come down. They're not down where they used to be, but they are. Way, they're probably half of what they were four months ago which is way better if you want to build a new pc yeah which you know i will eventually want to build a new pc but there's a lot of games coming out that i want to buy (laughs) fair enough which is another question i have so what was your favorite games of last year well so tell me your top five okay that's actually perfect because i actually made a video on that um let's see what what was my top five game let me get my list real quick i don't i can't believe i forgot (laughs) And I deleted the list. Wow. Good job, me. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can remember. Um, you know what? Let me just go to the video. I'm sorry. No, you're good, man. You're good. I have a... On the weekends, my memory tends to just be dead because I work all day, Saturday and Sunday. So... Uh, let me look it up real quick. I can tell you my, my all-time favorite game of last year yeah well, and that was, was a that was a little indie horror game called lost in vivo uh-huh yeah i know the game yeah i absolutely loved it it was it was candy it, it was what silent hill fans need at this point because you you know how about the whole pt and everything i do yep how konami screwed us all over yeah lost lost in vivo is exactly what we needed at this point it was the perfect Silent Hill, I guess, substitute. And it, it felt more like su- Silent Hill than anything I've played in a long time. And it was amazing. And actually, it worked off of a lot of fears that I have, too, which is something a lot of games not... not something not a lot of games have done. That's cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, number two. I don't even know if... I don't know if you've heard of it. Starlink? Yep. Uh, that was number two for me. Um, every time I mention Starlink, they, they people say, "I know the game, but I've never seen much on it." Um, how much? Have you seen any much anything on it or not? Yeah, I've played it. I've played it. Really? Yeah. 
you're one of the few people I know who have actually played the game. <laughs> because it seems like it came out and then it kind of vanished. I have Which... two buddies. I I, uh, I was in the military, so I know, and I was stationed overseas, and I have a bunch of UK buddies, um, and they were big into it. That's that's how I played it. Okay. Yeah, Starlink was. Did you play the Switch version or? Yes. Yes. Okay, that's the version I got, and I I bought it thinking that the whole Star Fox thing was just a cash grab, but I am so glad to have found out that it was wrong. Because right. I feel like they implemented Fox and his crew so well. It was a good uh, game. I enjoyed it. It was. It was very good. Uh, it looks like number five I put Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yep. It's another good game. Which I have been loving Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. You did your I, you did your 24-hour stream, right? Playing that? I attempted it. I went 15, or I went 15 hours. It's a long time to play games straight. It's just a long time. It was. Well, I'm like, I feel like I would have been able to make it more if I played a game with a little bit more content. I mean, at the end of the day, Smash Bros. might have a lot of content on the outside, but when you actually dig deep and play it for more than 10 hours, <laughs> right. I mean, I feel you, you realize that there's really not much content. Rinse and repeat. Yeah, exactly. Uh, my number, My fourth favorite game was Far Cry 5. I enjoyed that. I played it on a PC. In fact, I played a lot of it, actually. I played a lot of it, too. I loved it. I'm excited for New Dawn. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, number three was Spider-Man. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't and play I, it, but yeah, I heard it was good. It was very good. It's It was one of the best Spider-Man games since Spider-Man 2. I did play Spider-Man 2. That was a great game. I played it on, it I think I played it on the PlayStation. But yes, the new Spider-Man by Insomniac Games was so good. And I, I won't spoil the ending, but it's been a long time since the game has actually made me cry. Oh, Jesus. It's going to make so, me want to go buy it now. Damn. <laughs> uh, it was actually two points at the ending that I cried, so... Well, I do want to say this. Like, it's obvious to everyone, Dr. Octavius, Doc Ock, it's obvious to everyone. Never have I... S have there's never been a, a game or a movie where I've seen Dr. Octavius as like a friend right like he's so genuine and nice in that game and when he became, becomes Dr. Octavius it's like no <laughs> I don't want to fight you <laughs> right? so nice so I hated that they did that but I loved it at the same time so back to your channel. So what what kind of goals do you have for yourself this year for your YouTube channel and your stream? Um, well, goals right now are just to kind of make it to 5,000 subscribers. I mean, I, from the beginning, I kind of made the channel for charity and stuff. Right. And actually, the first goal that I made for my channel is, and I'm, I'm going to kind of go into a bit of a thing here. Do you know of a disease called scleroderma? I do not. Okay, so scleroderma is, in short, it pretty much can, whatever it affects, it, like, hardens. So, like, if it were to hit, affect your skin, your skin would feel like dry skin and scaly. Okay. But my dad has it in inside, so it's on his organs. So his organs are hardening, and it they're harder to function. And um, he's had that since I was, like... I don't know, three, four. Okay. And the biggest goal for my channel is to eventually make some kind of a charity and maybe, you know, help help cure it or help him at least make his life a little easier. Right, right. That's awesome. And that's been kind of the whole goal of streaming in YouTube. And it's, it's been slow, but, I mean, I've been having fun the whole way. I think that's the key, right? And anything you do is you need to have fun and then just keep at it, right? Yeah. And honestly, I didn't expect YouTube to do the things that it's done for me. But before YouTube, I was kind of... I wasn't as passionate about gaming as I am now. It's gotten... It's helped me play a lot of games that I never would have played previously. Right, I, I I feel the same way. I've ventured into things that I would have never done before. 
Exactly. And I, it, I've researched a lot more games, too. Like, I wouldn't have known about the Resident Evil 2 remake four years prior and tortured myself waiting for it for four <laughs> years. <laughs> that can be good or bad, however you take it, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, I don't, and I wouldn't have the, I wouldn't have have the collection that I have now. Like, I have a, this really sounds like I'm bragging, I'm trying not to, but um, I've been collecting a lot of games recently. Right. And I recently got a unused factory sealed copy of Twilight Princess on the GameCube. Oh, nice. Is that, and is that worth a lot of money? It cost me 150 bucks. But on eBay, I think unused Twilight Princess copies are going for like 500 bucks. Woo! But I'm kind of just saving everything until like maybe in the heyday. It's like I get this for like $3,000 or something. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. And I also have an unused copy of Metroid on the NES. Nice, nice. So I, I've just been... I'm the kind of person who collects those. I buy Japanese copies of games. And I wouldn't have done that if it wasn't for YouTube. I have a... Japanese we bought what did we, we bought it like a couple years ago we have the a Japanese version sealed like in the plastic steel of a N64 the perfect dark with the expansion pack thing oh nice and uh yeah I don't I think we only paid we got it at a yard sale like <laughs> they, they said they could they didn't want to open it because they could they knew they couldn't understand like it was all in Japanese and oh, really? we looked it up, and I think it's worth I think it's worth four or five thousand dollars. So, but it's, yeah, we collect that kind of stuff too. Wow. Jeez, it's pretty cool. And I I also got a Japanese copy of Mario Kart sixty four. Does that is that the one that has this? Is that the CD version? Like when sixty four? No, was doing it's just the... a. Or I don't actually know. I I haven't wanted to open it. Yeah, don't open it <laughs> for sure. <laughs> And something I didn't expect to get was Animal Crossing for the N64. Oh, wow. I didn't even know they made that for the thing. Yeah, I, I wasn't expecting to get that. It's a fan translation, so I don't think it's worth as much. Right. And fan translation, I use that loosely because some of the translation is horrible. <laughs> like, I, I think I, I caught an ant, and it was called, like, I think it was just called a T. A T. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and something else I got, I don't even know if you've ever heard of it, Majora's Mask Mask Quest. Yes. Yes. You've heard of that? Yes. I got an N64 copy of that. Is it sealed or is it a used copy? Um, it's, no, it's a uh, cartridge only. Oh, that's cool though. I mean, it's, it's like a sealed cartridge, kind of like they have it in a plastic wrap because right. they do that for like their, you know, their bigger purchases. Right. But it's. I'm gonna try and play it sometime. We have the um, the CD thing that hooks on to the SC, the Super Nintendo. We have a sealed, really? a sealed one. Yeah, I picked it oh, up when I was in uh, Japan a couple years ago. Oh, I want to go to Japan so bad. <laughs> it's a cool place. So. I I don't doubt it. I also um, do you know of a game called Breakdown? I think so. I think so. I think so. It's like a first person. I don't even know if I can describe it. Uh, first person shooter slash melee slash anime type game. Is it was on the uh, Xbox, right? The original Xbox. Yeah. Yeah. It was by Namco. Yeah. Yeah. I love that game. It's that game is the reason I love detail in gaming. <laughs> because that game was oozing detail. Like, I I don't I, I, I think it was a sh wasn't it a short game because of how big it was. It's a shorter game. I think someone could beat it in in a day. I think that was the reason it was so short was because of how large the game files were. And it was on yeah. the original Xbox. Yeah, I mean it was. You can tell it was a huge experiment. Like there's there. I mean, I don't. Maybe you can't though, because it's, it's so well built, like it's so well put together. And I wish Namco would put more love into it and like remaster it or make an, well, maybe not make another one, because but remaster it or something. Right. Because I don't feel like it gets enough love. I mean, not enough people know about it. I guess is the reason. Right. So I don't know. 
Play it, people. That's right. Play get, it. Play get it. the name out there. <laughs> so, do you do you enjoy going back and playing indie consoles like the sixty four and the older oh, PlayStation? Oh yeah, games? I I love going back to old consoles. I actually got the Super Nintendo Classic and the NES Classic. Yeah, we have them too. I bought them for my girlfriend for her birthday last year. We like the Wii, the original Wii. We play a lot of that. Um, I, I don't know why we have all of them, but th- we always tend to go back to the Wii. So, the Wii was a good console. It was. It was a good console. She has. I mean, might... She has a hacked one too. That has. That well, I oh, think that's the one we play. Nice. Also. Yeah. Yeah. The Wii. I mean, it might have had a lot of shovelware on it, but it was still a really good console. Yeah. I mean, did you hear that the Wii Shop channel is closing down soon? I saw. I saw that. I saw that. I think if the Switch wants to, like, survive and be good, they need to go back and... Because we tried to buy the old classic games on the Switch, and it's... Some of them you have to... You can't do it. You have to do it on the Wii U. You can't do it on the Switch yet. I think they're slowly porting a bunch of games onto there. I think they need to, like, because we would probably play the Switch more if if that was the... If they had that stuff. Yeah, I mean, I'll admit I'm kind of Nintendo trash, so... (laughs) <laughs> I I have been in love with the Switch. And oh, don't get me I wrong, I like Evil it a lot. Too. coming out for the Switch. Yeah. And I'm going to definitely stream that. I mean, I'm recording it right now, but I I am I am I love the Switch, so I want to stream it. When it comes so, out. how do you what's your process for streaming and recording off your Switch? Do you use a Elgato or something like that? Yeah, I use Elgato for a lot of the consoles. I actually still have the original Elgato. Like the old block, uh-huh. and I I like that because it has the original composite, so I can record through PS2 and and right. 64 and all that. I mean, when you know when this thing dies, I came prepared and I have a little HDMI splitter for composite and stuff. Which Elgato do you mainly use now? Do you use the HD? Are you on like a HD 60 or? Yeah, it's like it's the the first one they re- they released the first model. Okay, that's cool. I don't I don't think it has really a special name to it. Like it's not the like curved one that mm-hmm. they sell now. It's like blocky. So you have like the OG model. Yeah, and I, I've had that for I don't at, at this point three years. It's hard to upgrade if it's still working, right? Like I, that's my that's my thing. Like. When people want to, like, they're like, oh, you should get this or this. I'm like, oh, shit, man. The shit that I bought five years ago works just fine, you know? Yeah, exactly. Well, and plus, the new model that they've released, it doesn't have the composite plug-in. Which sucks. Right. Yeah, if you're trying to play on those older consoles, for sure. Yeah, well, and, like, the HDMI splitter, I kind of use it for GameCube and stuff. Because, like, Smash Bros. Melee runs at 60 frames per second. But if I just plug in the composite cables, it doesn't on the recording. Oh, I got you. I got you. So, so you have to do I, a I, workaround for it. Yeah, I use the... Eight, what's what's this thing called? Hang on. Uh, Ghana or Jana. G-A, G-A-N-A Mini. There's a bug on it. Get out of here. Uh, Mini AV2 HDMI upscaler. Okay, cool. And it's just a little box, and you plug in the composite cables and then you have the hdmi uh plug in and there you go i mean it plugs into your computer too but it's it's nice i mean it, it's no bigger than a ring box that's neat that it upscales that stuff though that's cool yeah you can go up to 1080p so oh. it's nice but i i record and stream in 720 so people have said to upgrade to 1080p it would do me a lot of good but my computer sucks, and it wouldn't be able to rent. It would it'd probably explode if I tried to render in 1080p. <laughs> what kind of? Do you know your graphics card that you have? I believe it is the NVIDIA GTX 950. I think. Oh, you should be able to do that. You should be able to upscale in 1080. Do you, maybe def- you don't have enough RAM? That might be the issue. Well, and people say CPU as well. I think I have like 12 gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, that's probably more than enough RAM. Then, yeah, what is your CPU? Do you know? I do not. Hang on. I think I have my Amazon list. <laughs> like I said, I bought everything through Amazon, so 
Uh, well, while you're doing that, tell us how you came up with your name, your handle for your channel, Indie Timmy. Tell us about that. That's a bit of a story. <laughs> um, so, why, why, why can't you just save my password, Amazon? <laughs> I have complicated passwords, and it's like, oh, we didn't save it, even though... Oh, no, wait, I didn't. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Um, okay, so the name. So, I didn't have a channel before. I used to be super into My Little Pony. Uh-huh. And I'm sure you know that fan base, Bronies. Yes. Yeah, I was super into Bronies. Or, I was, you know, super into that show. And we, me and my brother both, we were a Brony. And my, you know, my OC that I made, his name was Indigo Wisp. And I kind of stuck with that for a while. And then after I kind of started falling out, I kind of, okay, let's just make something else. I started calling myself just Indie. And when I made, made the channel, I just decided Indie Timmy, why not? And the my channel mascot is actually still the, the you know, OC that I made when I was a brony. But people loved it so much that I just kind of incorporated it into my channel. Is that the picture that you sent me? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that's that, what that's people can see right now when they're listening. So. Yeah, uh, people, I don't know, people have always said it looks really creative. And, I mean, it's just a blue pony with red and orange hair, but, you know. It's cool looking, though. It's cool. It's unique. <laughs> I think that it doesn't look like some generic shit well, that just, you. you know, comes out of a cracker box. Uh, people have always said the colors mesh well. They do. It and looks good. The I've 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 always been kind of obsessed with like a highlight over the eye. That's why I kind of did that, the orange part of the hair. Right. So, that's why I did that, and I'm I'm still like kind of into that. Uh, hang on, let me look at my Amazon password. So I gotta enter it, so I can take a look at my CPU. I always, always give yourself super complicated passwords, people. <laughs> They're a pain in in the butt to put in, but. Trust me. You will not regret it. Okay, there we go. Let me look at my list. I still have, like, my old PC list here. I should, anyway. Lists. Yeah, PC parts. Okay, uh, my CPU is an AMD A87600 quad core. Oh, yeah, time to upgrade. I'm pretty sure that's the CPU. So you need a new motherboard and like and a new CPU. You could get the best of last year's model and a motherboard for probably $120. Yeah, that's kind of what's been stopping me is the new motherboard. Because if I got a new motherboard, I would just want to get a new tower. Because if you could see inside this thing, I had to get it cramped. <laughs> this thing is so tiny. So I got the the tower that I got is a Silverstone technology precision series oh i know the black. tower i know it i know it yeah <laughs> it's so tiny i mean it fits well where i have it now but right for like actual hardware it's it's not good i mean i don't know it's served me well for the time that i've had it yeah yeah but i i need to get my cpu but i, I will try rendering in 1080p though i'll see how that goes because i tend to render one video overnight and then one video later yeah the next day yeah but it, i'm also worried about recording in 1080p if it'll actually do it or i guess that doesn't matter because i record in 600 1600 by 900 resolution so i don't think that'll matter <laughs> anyway i sorry i, I no, had a brain good. fart you're good <laughs> So. I had a huge brain fart. So do you, you so this you don't do this full time, right? I assume you have a job outside of this. Yeah, uh, I have actually I have kind of the perfect job for this. I clean my town library on Fridays, and then I deliver papers set on Saturday and Sunday, and then the rest of the week is just free. Oh, nice, nice. And you know, I I kind of needed that too because I kind of take care of my parents. Right. Because my mom is has, ex, as the doctor described it, extreme arthritis, mm. and I've already explained my dad. Like he'll sleep in till like seven because he's in so much pain at night. 
Yeah. Yeah. So I tend to take care of my parents a lot. Well, it's good that you do that. It's good that you take care of them. Not a lot of people would would make the effort to do that. So. Uh, well, I mean, I I'm lucky. I know I'm lucky. How I grew up. I grew up with very supporting parents. Like my parents have that kind of mentality of you only you're only young once. Right. So they kind of tried to give me the best childhood I could. Well, and they're good. actually they're actually very supportive of my YouTube as well. well. That's good. As long as I can take care of them in the process. <laughs> so every gamer that comes on, no matter what you play, like every gamer has thoughts about this next question that I'm going to ask you. And you can tell me whatever. I want to hear your honest opinion about um, so the whole Battle Royale scene. Um, and we'll talk about Fortnite. I know that you maybe not want to, but I just want to hear your thoughts on it. Have you? First of all, have you ever played it? Uh, yes, I have played Fortnite with friends. So what are your thoughts on the game? It's horrible alone, but it's a ton of fun with friends. Oh, yeah, I, and I wholeheartedly like, agree I, with that. But I feel like that's any game. Yeah, that could be any game. Like, I hate Resident Evil 5, but give me a, one of my closest friends and... We'll just have a blast all night. So Fortnite, uh, I, I, I'm almost in shock how well this game has done. Um, yeah, like it's it's almost unreal. A uh, free game, well, freemium. We'll, we'll just put it that way. Yeah, freemium. you can play the game There's as much as you want. Yeah, as much as you want for free. Um, and but I agree with you. Like the only time I ever play that game is I play it on Xbox now, and I only play it with my buddies. Like that's it. And it's yeah. And it's getting to the point now where it's like, do I, I don't even really want to play that game, you know. <laughs> but it's always fun once you get it. Like once I start playing it. So exactly. Um, and I the like. Only thing about go oh, ahead. Sorry. No, go ahead. Well, I was about to say the only thing I don't. The only thing I don't like about Fortnite is, and anyone can have views about them if you like them. That's cool. I don't think any lower of you. Ninja. Oh and my I god. I can't say I'm the biggest fan of him. Uh yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I am not the big uh, yeah, I'm not a fan at all of Ninja. I am not. Like, did you see what he tried to do in the twenty eighteen dropping of the ball in New right. York? Right. Yeah, I did. He like he tried to get a ton of New Yorkers to do the floss dance or whatever it's called. Yes. I saw that. Yeah, it's about my expression too. Just uh, what what like, what are you doing, my friend? <laughs> like it made for a lot of fun videos for people to cringe at, but why? Yes, I agree. I don't. I mean, like if it was a little kid trying to get people to do it, fine. They probably would have done it for a little kid because right. it's adorable. But you're a grown man with red hair and a tuxedo. <laughs> it's ra- It's pouring down rain. There's a ton of New Yorkers who probably some don't even want to be there. Trying to get them to do some kind of dance that's from a game that t- thousands of little kids play. Yes, yes. So why? <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I just. I it's, so I like, agree with you 100. percent Like it's. I would never. I'm not about to go play that game by myself. But I will play it with my friends because it's it's good fit, fun for friends to play with. So yeah, I mean you know Fortnite it's harmless fun. Like if you if you have kids who play it, cool. Like I mean it keeps it gives them something to do. It makes us that they aren't destroying the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, if kids destroy the house, I don't know. Some kids I know are bad today, but. <laughs> Some kids I know grow up really respectful, like the kids in my town. They actually, they call me sir, and I'm not used to that. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's a dying trend. I'm telling you that now. Like I make my boat. I, we have a little boy and a little girl, and like I always make them say yes, ma'am, yes, sir. But it's a dying trend. It just is. It's dying. Yeah, it's sad though. I mean, kid. I mean, I was I was raised like that. I was raised to be respectful, and. You know, I got hit, you know. I got oh. hit when I was younger. Oh, yeah. I was spankings well, I mean, not were... like across the face or anything. Yeah, but spankings were like, that was a normal thing in my family. I know a lot of kids now, like, they, they, they've they never spanked in their life. But, you know, if I messed yeah. up, I got I got a spank. <laughs> well, one of my friends, he's older than me, and we always make fun of his age, saying, like, oh, you were alive in the 50s, right? 
but I think he's like 40. And he was he was alive in the time when belt whippings were allowed. Yeah. Yep. So, and you always hear about the the stereotypical Italian father and mother thing. Yep. How they'll always beat you if you step out of line. That and that's kind of like how my family was. Like I grew up in a military family, and my mom's family was Italian. And yeah, like yeah. I got my fair share of belt whippings back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, like I don't think any, I don't think I'm any like it didn't hurt me, like in my life. In fact, I think it helped me. Like I'm way more respectful than most people that I know in my age group. So. Oh yeah, and people seem to think that hitting your child is just like, I mean, don't ever go for the face. The face is off limits. Right. The butt hit the butt. That sounded wrong, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> like yep. and. As I got older, the the punishments were, weren't physical. They were more mental. It was like, if you do that again, you're not allowed to play games for a month. And it's like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, don't take away my life. That's right. That's right. So that kind of helped me as well. So do that, even. Like, take something away that they love. Yeah, we we do that. Like, so well, we have a, a four-year-old boy, and he loves his tablet. Like, that's his thing. Uh, and. That, I swear, I could spank him, or, and it would do less, like, he would be more prone to do it again. But if I take his tablet away, that kid will be on his best behavior for as long as I have that tablet. Yeah, that's that's how, that's how it was for me. And actually, it was video games that they used to teach me, like, how to stop doing stuff. Like, I, I'm going to go into a story that I'm probably embarrassed to talk about. <laughs> I, um... When I was younger, I never went to the bathroom. Like, you know, got up to go to the bathroom when I was playing get video games. Yeah. Like, I would just go right there. So, to, to stop me from doing that, they would bribe me with video game. Because you remember Layaway, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they would put games on Layaway. And they said, every week, when you have... And sorry if this is TMI to everyone. No, you're good. <laughs> if you have a clean pair of pants... We will put ten dollars on that game, and this is back when like games were like thirty bucks. Yeah, and you know, three weeks gone, and I get a game. So, and that that kicked it. Oh, well, every kid has you know everybody's different. They have different incentives that work for them. So, that's good though. Yeah, yeah and that's definitely something that you needed to correct at an early age. Yeah, and, well, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't. I didn't want to grow up to be wearing adult diapers. <laughs> But, I mean, they were smart with what they did. Like, they they knew how to get to me. I I had some pretty smart parents. Still do. My my dad still knows how to to get to me. (laughs) I mean, I don't ever go out of line anymore with them. Because I'm a 26-year-old smart boy. (laughs) All right, anyway. Back to Battle Royale. Yeah, so... Did you play Sorry PUBG about going at to talk all? about shit in my pants. No, you're good, you're good. Did you play PUBG at all? I did not. So PUBG was probably the other side of that. Like people and it was a it was a horrible great game if that makes sense. Like it well, I, I mean, and, the thing about Oh, sorry. No, no, go ahead. Well, the thing about the difference for me with PUBG and Fortnite is Fortnite is well built. PUBG, right. I've heard, is still very glitchy and runs horribly. Oh, it's, it's a horrible game. I wanted, to, I like PUBG more than I like Fortnite, but Fortnite works a hundred times better. If that makes sense. Yeah, like I Fortnite want PUBG to work. Smoother. I want when, it to work, but I've know, never, Fortnite, I've uninstalled it. I'll never fucking play that game again. PUBG. Oh, well, and like Fortnite, like it's so well made, and I don't care who you are. This, they've made it such a good enough game. That you can play it on the computer, you can play it on all consoles, you can play it on an iPhone, right. play it on an iPad. That That's a very well-built game. And I've heard it runs the same on everything. Yep. So, you can hate the game all you want, but you got to respect the way they've built it. Right, I agree, 100%. Like, it's like freaking Skyrim, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. That's not a good example. Skyrim doesn't run that well. It does, but 
God, there's so many glitches. Yeah, there is a lot of glitches. I've lost. I've been stuck in Skyrim before for hours, hours, on a rock. <laughs> oh, geez. like, one. Well, you know, I have an example of that too. I was trying to do the Thieves Guild quest, and someone, someone who was important to the quest, got stuck in a in this part of the cave, and mm. I had to restart the cave. Mm-hmm. It's yep. actually caught on stream. I've been there. I've been. I've done stuff like that. Oh my goodness. It's annoying. Same kind actually, of stuff happens in Fallout, too. So, I, Speaking of Bethesda, I actually want to mention them real quick. And I'm not even going to go out into Fallout 76. Everything has been said about Fallout 76. <laughs> it's a trash heap. But I have heard that Bethesda does not even plan on upgrading their game engine. I've heard, I've heard this, too. I'm glad so somebody like, else knows about the this. El- the Elder Scrolls 6 is going to be in the same engine as Skyrim. I hope not. I yeah. freaking hope not. I hope not because, either. Because this game is taking until, what, 2020 to be made? Yeah. It's still Why? two more years. If, if it's the year. same engine, what are you doing then? <laughs> are you twiddling your thumbs? <laughs> Sitting on that magic pillow, hoping and praying. <laughs> Unless the rumors are wrong, which I hope to God they are, and they're actually upgrading their engine because they need to. Yeah, I, I think they need to, too. So I agree. Like, Fallout 3 and Skyrim were in the same engine. Or did Fallout 3 have Oblivion's engine? It had Oblivion's engine. Okay. Unless that unless it's all the same engine. It could be. Now that, they could I'm have just changed sure. the name. So. Maybe. I mean, like, they need, to, they need to take advice from Capcom at this point. Because the RE engine is probably my favorite game engine at this point. It is beautiful. Yeah, it's good. It's well built. It, it works. Is. And it works. <laughs> That's the key. And way. actually, the what it's actually b- built off the Unity engine. Like, they they had the base of the Unity engine, and then they ended up just making it their own thing. So Capcom got my respect for that. because oh, I love that engine. Yeah, it's it's well built. And they actually did few, a few upgrades to it for Resident Evil 2 as well, after Resident Evil 7. Which, did you play Resident Evil 7? Yes, yes I did. Oh, it was so good. That game was a breath of fresh air for horror games. It was a good game, okay. it was. Like, that, that's actually something I wanted to ask you about. Sorry, I keep going off topic here. No, you're fine. Um, how do you feel about the run and hide type horror games? Uh, I like them, I do. Um, okay. So I was just about to mention I cannot ever remember the name of this game I'm looking at my Steam list now The game that has like Freddy and uh, Oh Five Nights at Freddy's No it's the one where you like Four people play you like against One killer What the heck is the name of that game Oh uh, Friday the 13th Or One Killer Dead by Daylight Dead by Daylight D- That's like I would n- I would have never bought that game, but when I like I watched my friends play it, and I was like, oh my god, I gotta play this game with my friends, like because it was it's it's like it's like Fortnite. It's like a game I wouldn't play by myself with like random people, but playing that game with a group of friends is like one of the funnest things I've ever done. Like sit in a dark yeah. room and stream that shit, and it's it's hilarious. I've, I've I've never actually touched that game. Oh my gosh, I highly recommend you like you and find some friends and wait till it goes on sale. And play that game. It's it's so much fun. <laughs> There's actually one game that I've been looking at. Hang, I think it's called the Blackout Club. Yes, yes. And that looks interesting because it looks like kind of a Goonies type thing and Stranger right. Things. Right. It's good. Yeah, the the Blackout Club. It's good. That's actually that's definitely one that I've been looking at, and some friends are interested in it as well. Because I'm a giant Stranger Things fan. And I also love the Goonies. Yes, yes. So I feel like this would be a good game. To, and you can play solo as well. Yes, For anyone who doesn't like yeah. online, which I'm, I tend to be kind of a single-player gamer, but I'll play with friends every now and then. But uh, the reason I mentioned run-and-hide horror games, I do not like them anymore. Which one is the one that like did it for you? It was like, yep, that's enough. 
Outlast 2. Outlast, okay. I wondered, I wondered. <laughs> yeah, because, like, Outlast 1, all right, it's kind of new. But then Outlast 2, it's like, it's the same thing, except you're outside. Right. I mean, what's the difference? And, like, this is a theory. It's not even a theory. It's actually kind of been proven. Run it, you, like, Amnesia was a fantastic game. I love that game, and I will always praise it. But what came after it is what was bad, because everything wanted to be Amnesia. And Outlast was the straw that broke the back of the camel, or whatever the saying is. Right. Um, which is a weird, a weird saying. <laughs> um, but, like, you can't ever have monsters, like, for example, De Dead Space. Dead Space is still one of the games that I hold up as one of the best survival horror games ever. Right. Because the monsters are some of the most horrifying things in video game history. You could not have monsters like that in a run and hide game. You just they're too big, they're too fast, they're too dangerous. But you have a game where you can defend yourself and suddenly the the threatening thing that you're trying to get away from or kill is so much bigger. What about That's... games like um did you play like Dying Light? Or a Fear. Oh, yeah. Dying Light's really good. Fear, I love. Fear was a great game, wasn't it? Like, it was. It was, it, was... it was just great. Like, Fear was a very unique game. Yeah, I agree. I, I think and I like... enjoyed that game so much because I was like, when I played Fear, I, would, I had been playing Call of Duty so much with my friends, and Fear was just like, a totally just different direction game. Oh yeah, like it was the same mechanics and everything, but it's horror. Right, right. And actually, Call of Duty. Do you still play that or no? Yeah, actually, I hadn't played it for a couple of years, and I'm playing the new one now. But the only time I play it again is with friends. Like that's the, I don't you know. Yeah, like I haven't played Call of Duty since Call of Duty Four. Okay. So that. That was when I feel like Call of Duty, this whole thing started with Call of Duty. Call of and Duty Modern Warfare 2 was the best game ever for Call of Duty. Like, that's it. Like, there will never be another <laughs> one like it, and that's it. You know, like, they just can't do see, it. They can't see, read I, See, I never played that one. So I stopped at, after 4, but people have told me to try out the new Black Ops or whatever. It is. It's this, good. It's good. It's they as said close, the Battle Royale is actually really fun. Yeah, it's as close to the old style as they're probably ever going to get. But I do actually want to say something. Red Dot site costs <laughs> one real life dollar. <laughs> like you can you can tell me you don't need to pay for it. It's just the fact that they have that there. Right. Like you don't have to buy it, but there will be thousands of people who will. Yeah, they will. That's right. And it, Activision just needs to stop. Like keep making Call of Duty. I don't care, but don't don't do that. Don't, that's bad. It's just bad. So, did you... Do you remember, what was it, a year, maybe two years ago, when Origin came out with Battlefront, the new Star Wars game? Oh, yeah. And the whole, I, like, the microtransactions and, like, the well, some country in the UK, like, sued the crap out of them and outlawed the game for, like... What, what was the phrasing they used? Like, uh, promoting gambling. gambling in minors or something like that? So. Yeah, that was it. And actually, there was one country who actually just straight up banned loot boxes. Right, right. I think that was it. Yeah, they loot the loot boxing thing. Yeah, and it was actually Battlefront Two. I think it was that did that. Yes, yes. And that was <laughs> EA used to be so good. They used to be. They used. To... We'll see about the whole anthem thing. I saw your tweet last night about it. Um... Yeah, uh, it looks. <laughs> Like I don't know, I keep, I keep seeing Destiny in it, and I wasn't a big Destiny fan. Oh, okay, okay. And like, I I'm a know. huge. I, just... I love Destiny. Like I, I love Destiny. Really? Yeah. Like I can, I can definitely see the appeal in it. Like I will never say Destiny's a bad game. Like it's not, it's not a bad game, but it's just not me. It's just not for me. Right. I will I, say I, though. I, yeah, that's fair. The flying and anthem looks so fun. It does, right? <laughs> it does. And that's that the gameplay is what's compelling me to maybe try it out. 
those. So if you have it. Origin Access on, on PC, I think that's the, for me, that's the best way to like promote something. Like you pay fifteen dollars and you have access to every single one of their games, and then you can cancel at any time. So, really? yeah. So will... if, uh, on PC, um, it's fifteen bucks a month for their Origin Access Premiere, and you get like you get all their AAA titles eighteen days before they come out. And then if you don't like them, then you just cancel your sub to EA Premiere, and that's it. It's all it cost you is fifteen dollars versus paying sixty dollars for every single one of their games. That's pretty good. Yeah, but, like mean, that's the best way for like that was how. So I like Battlefield too, um, and when Battlefield Five came out, I was like, oh, I don't want to spend sixty dollars on a game I don't like. <laughs> so I was like, I'll just buy this Premiere business, and I'll get it for free with that. And if I don't like it, then I could just cancel. But I, I actually enjoy it. It's a really good game. I mean, I don't think my computer would be able to run Anthem, though, so... You I think might. I'll be stuck with, with the console. <laughs> we gotta get Which you I don't mind that. we got to get you upgraded. Yeah, I do. Money is the problem. Oh, I, I hear you, yeah. But, um, I don't know. I wouldn't mind getting it for console. And then, if it's not... If it, if I don't like it, it'll still make a good shelf piece, because the art looks cool. Yeah, I agree. And the, I'm weird like that, because I might not like the game, but if I like the art... I will definitely put it on my shelf. Sixty dollar like, piece of art, or right? Yeah, exactly. And art, I feel like artwork on game boxes is kind of a dying breed. Well, not anymore, but it was. I think it's made a comeback. I think it's made. A yeah. Comeback, so. And actually, back to Battlefield. Uh, bad company, best Battlefield. Oh game. my gosh, hundred percent <laughs> agree with you. Yes, hundred percent. Yes. It was awesome. I freaking love. I, I freaking love Battle. A uh, bad company. I still actually have it. Yeah, I do. It's a good game. I know their server's still running for it too, so. It is. Like I I didn't expect them to like I I know every Battlefield has had a story, right? Or have they all been multiplayer games? Uh no, every one of them has a story now. So, yeah. Okay. So, I wasn't expecting them to make Bad Company, which was I mean, the multiplayer in Bad Company was horrible, but the story in it was amazing. Yeah, the story was great, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't know, as amazing as just a bunch of greedy people betraying the army could be, but you know. <laughs> but it was funny, and it had rela- relatable, funny characters. Right. Let's see, Sweetwater. I remember that name. Yes, yep. Uh, Hacker, I think the explosion guy was named. Maybe, yeah. I can't, I don't know, I can't remember a lot of their names. I only remember Sweetwater. And that, that, I hate. I hate that I can't remember their names. They were all funny, though. So you had what was it? You had Preston Marlowe, Thomas Wyatt, Terrence Sweetwater, Redford Wyatt, Kerlinko, and Flynn. Okay. And Haggard yeah, Junior. That was. Hag. That's what his name was. That that guy was my favorite. I also like the head guy though. He was cool too. Preston Marlowe. Yep. Yeah, it was a fun game. Part two was actually just as good. Yes, yes. They're so they're so hard though. They were hard. <laughs> yeah. I enjoy harder games. I don't I don't like a game that I can sit down and beat in three hours. I, I tend to not enjoy those. Oh yeah. Well, we have gone over an hour, and that's probably where I want to end it. Um, but I'd love to have you back on the show again if you want to come back. We can chat yeah, again. I actually can I mention one thing? Before yeah, absolutely. It? How do you feel about movie tie-in games? Or not movie tie-in, but like game adaptation of movies. So I I like... I guess I prefer movies where the game came first and the movie came later. Does that make sense? Versus the game... Or the movie came out and then they made games afterwards for it. Okay, yeah, like... And I'm trying I know to... most of the time yeah. when a game comes out from the movie, it's not good. Right. But um, what's it called? Can't remember. Peter Jack. Peter Jackson's King Kong. Have you ever played that? Yeah, yeah, it's a good game. That is so good. It's so underrated. It's, it's a and good. actually, can I talk about one more thing? I'm yeah, sorry. It'll be really right. quick. No, you're good, man. You're good. <laughs> the Super Mario Bros. movie. What are your thoughts on it? Uh Uh. <laughs> meh meh I need to be drunk <laughs> to enjoy it <laughs> I am one of the f- 
like I am in the fan club of the people who act unironically love it. Do you? You like it? I do. I, I liked it a as a child. Movie. I guess I like I will say that. I liked it as a kid. But now I, like ugh. You'd think I would say that, but I watched it like a week ago and I still love it. It's a I guess it's a good movie. It is. It's a good movie. I do want to say this and I won't take too long explaining this. They actually did a lot of things right in that. I, I like, agree. Uh, I agree. But like a lot of people say like it's not Mario though, but it's supposed to be Mario in the at the time modern day. Right. And like they even got two Koopa kids right. Like yeah. they got Iggy and Ludwig. And they even acknowledged that that was their names. And they they even got freaking Iggy's hair right. <laughs> like come on. Yep. Like they went into detail enough that they got a hairstyle right. I don't know. I, no. I don't feel like it deserves the hate that it gets, but I do understand why people... Oh, I don't hate it by any means, but it's... I don't know. Maybe I need to go... I haven't watched it in years. And it's probably a movie I need to introduce like, to my kids. That's probably why I need to watch it. It's it's such a... Did, did you hear about the new animated one that's coming out? Yes. Yes, I did. I I don't know how to feel about Illumination. Oh, and, you broke up. What'd you say? Oh. Well, I don't know how to feel about it because it's being made by Illumination. Oh. Oh, is it? And, oh. Yeah, and Illumination, for those who don't know, uh, made the Despicable Me movies. They've made the Minion movie. Right. They made the recent Grinch movie. So, to me, they do not have any good movies under their belt. I mean, I know the Despicable Me movies are kind of loved, but... Mm. The new mm. Grinch movie was very disappointing. We took our kids to see it at Christmas, and I was, I'm a huge, I love the Jim Carrey version. Like, I watch that shit probably three times a year, and I just, I was just so disappointed in the new one. Yeah, I love the Grinch too, but I, I could tell just from the previews that this one won't be good. And what disappoints me is that the guy who plays Doctor Who is voiced by the Grinch. That's right, yep. Why? Yep. Why would you do that? You're Doctor Who. You're <laughs> or not Doctor Who? Fuck. Uh, Doctor Strange. Yes. Why you're Doc? You're one of the coolest heroes in Marvel, and you're. You... Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> I just wanted to go into that. Sorry, I think I went over. No, you're good. So, uh, tell us what your channel name is. Give yourself give yourself a shout out, and then I'll put it on all the links in the. On the podcast and uh, on okay. iTunes. Um, well, I am Indie Timmy, as I mentioned, and I basically st just stream game. I well, I stream games and record games, but I'm also trying to get into like gaming reviews as well, quote unquote reviews. They'll be more my thoughts. And I post two videos a day. I stream four days a week, sometimes five days a week. What's uh, your streaming always schedule? What is it? Uh, it is, my memory is horrible. <laughs> when it comes, to, like, you know, when it, when I need to stream, I remember, but then when it's like, oh, what's your <laughs> schedule? It's like, I apparently don't know. <laughs> I have it here on Twitter. Uh, Monday, te th th these are all Eastern time. Uh, Monday, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. or 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. Wednesday, 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. Sometimes. Wednesday, Wednesday has kind of become 10 p.m. Uh, Friday, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. And Sunday, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Well, good stuff. Good stuff. I will so link all am... that stuff on the on YouTube when I uh, upload it. And then it will be on all the podcasting websites. Anything your favorite app, it will be on there. So. Awesome. Well, look, man, I have enjoyed having you on. I want to have you on again. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. Um, anyway, so that's it for the show. Make, make sure you think for yourself and question everything, guys, and we'll see you next time. I fucking love that outro. <laughs> <laughs>